Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio, and in this very quick video, I will show you how to blur your background in Zoom. This is a feature that until recently was missing in Zoom, even though it was available in other video conferencing platforms, it is useful if, like me, you are working from home and have a mess behind you. Zoom does let you choose a custom image or video for your background, but if you don't want to do that, you can just blur everything for a little more privacy. So to do it, assuming you are using the Zoom desktop client, this does not apply if you are using Zoom on a phone or an iPad, the interface there is different. Move your mouse down to the stop video button in the lower left, click the up arrow next to that, select choose virtual background, and then in the window that pops up, select blur. Zoom should then do a pretty good job detecting your head and blurring the background behind you. Again, note that if you would rather use an image or a video instead, you can select some that come preloaded with Zoom here, or you can click this little plus, plus icon to upload your own. Now, if this doesn't work for you or the features aren't available, you do need to double check if your computer meets the system requirements for virtual backgrounds. You can find this page just by going to Zoom's website or Googling Zoom virtual background system requirements, where they have a list of the system requirements for the different features on Windows and Mac. So again, if these features aren't available, your computer might be too old for them to work. If you don't see the option at all when you go into virtual backgrounds, you also need to make sure you are updated to the latest version of Zoom. You need at least Zoom version 5.5. You can do that by going to the desktop client, clicking on your profile icon in the upper right, go down to check for updates, and it will let you know if you are already up to the latest version or if you can download a new one. So if you're a returning subscriber, as always, I hope you found that video useful. You can go ahead and ask questions or leave suggestions for other tutorials in the comments below this video. If you're a new viewer, I have a giant playlist of Zoom tutorials all about teaching and learning online with Zoom. You can find that in the video description and somewhere here on the end screen. Thank you.